Hey guys, it's Craig from the moviebanter.com and I just watched Grizzly Man on DVD and it's this fascinating documentary about Timothy Treadwell who basically dedicated his life to living with the grizzly bears in Alaska only to eventually be mauled and killed and eaten by one of them. You know, go figure, you illegally live with these crazy animals, you're going to get eaten by them. Smart guy. Anyways, the director basically took hours of his footage and put it together kind of showing you the last days of his life and just how he interacted with the animals how he took this film you meet some of I guess his friends and his family and you try to learn a lot about him and how he got to this point to decide this is what he wanted to do it's a great documentary it, you know it really just gets the hair standing up on, on, on your arms I don't understand what the guy did. It's, it's very controversial. There's a lot of people who say, you know, this guy was great. He really tried to help the environment, help the animals. And most people really think that he was very selfish, disrespected the animals, and the fact that he thought he was one of them. I didn't get it at all. I, I agree with those people. To me, the guy was a complete nut job. Um, he, you watch him in these videos, and, and he almost thinks he is a bear, that he can freely go up and try to pet him and... You know, he, you, you watch him and it almost seems like he's a character trying to entertain a crowd that in reality doesn't exist. You know, he sits there, he does multiple takes, he gets very passionate, angry. It's, it's almost like he created this character. Now, you also learn that he kind of went through some trouble. You know, he started a normal childhood and everything, but then he got into the wrong crowd, started drinking moved out to LA, things didn't work out, and his life kind of spiraled downhill. It seems that, in a way, that kind of led him to this. You know, he feels really passionate about these grizzly bears, but the reality is, who's he trying to protect them from? It doesn't quite make sense. You know, he's a very unique person who a lot of people were actually upset with what he did, and it almost seems like the tragedy about the incident is not that he died, but in fact his girlfriend at the time was killed with him. Who you don't really see a lot in the video at all. I don't know if the director purposely did that or the family purposely wanted her out. Either way, you don't know anything about her. It's a very different documentary. A very unique man. This thing can be debated back and forth for hours, whether you agree or disagree with him and his style. So if you saw this harrowing documentary, I definitely want to hear what you think about it.